Okay, here we're going to look at a couple examples related to the direct comparison test. So in part A here, we're going to figure out whether the series 1 over n cubed plus n plus 4, whether or not that series converges or diverges. Again, and we'll compare it to uh, a series that we know converges or diverges. So in this case, uh, I usually kind of pick out dominant terms. And to me, you know, again, just the powers that are getting the, the biggest powers. Well, in the top, there's just a 1. In the denominator, though, there's n cubed. And if you think about the series 1 over n cubed, that would be a convergent um, p-series. So let's see. If we think about it, you know, 1 over n cubed, well, if we add n to it, I claim that that's going to be less than or equal to 1 over n cubed. And again, this is for n values greater than or equal to 1. This would be true. And again, this makes sense because, you know, uh, since we're adding n, the denominator of the left side uh, must be bigger than the denominator on the right side. Well, a bigger denominator makes for an overall smaller fraction. Well, okay, I think this is true. Likewise, 1 over n cubed plus n, well, plus 4, by the same reasoning, would be smaller than uh, 1 over n cubed. Notice these are certainly greater than or equal to uh, 0. But we know since, you know, the series 1 over n cubed from n equals 1 to infinity, that's a convergent p-series. That's a convergent p-series. Well, since that's convergent, and we know now that the series associated with uh, 1 over n cubed plus n plus 4, is smaller than that one, and again greater than or equal to zero. Since the uh, the uh, the series on the right converges, and the values uh, that we get out, you know, the numerical values we get out are going to be even smaller. Uh, that would imply, by the direct comparison theorem, that our original series n equals one to infinity of one over n cubed plus n plus four that also converges.